Hello, I'm Mark Weekland, and I'm going to read one of my books. The name of this book is Bubbles Float, Bubbles Pop by Mark Weekland. With a puff of air, bubbles appear like magic. Shimmering, they float through the sunlight. Do you know how bubbles are made? Every bubble is a round pocket of gas. Like balloons, bubbles trap gas within a thin skin. Bubbles form in cold or hot liquids. In a glass of soda, bubbles stick to a cherry. In boiling water, bubbles sparkle like diamonds. Pop. When a bubble skin gets too thin, the bubble breaks. The gas inside escapes into the air. Dry hands, wind, and sharp objects cause bubbles to pop. Bubbles always form in the same shape, a sphere. A sphere is perfectly round. Why are bubbles spheres? Why aren't they ovals or cubes? A sphere is a strong shape. For its size, it can hold a large amount of gas. You can make bubbles by blowing air into a liquid, but these bubbles quickly pop. You might see air bubbles in a fish tank. Air bubbles add oxygen to the water. Soap lets you blow bubbles that are less likely to break. Because their soapy skin stretches, soap bubbles last much longer than air bubbles. Can you touch a soap bubble? To hold a soap bubble, wet your hands with soapy solution. Then gently catch a bubble with your hands. Have you ever blown a bubble with soft, gooey gum? As you blow in air, the gum stretches and the bubble grows. The world's largest bubblegum bubble was almost two feet across. What will happen when the gum gets stretched too thin? Nature is full of bubbles. They sparkle in streams. They froth and foam at the beach. Look for bubbles wherever there is water. Some gas bubbles grow deep in the earth. They push through pools of mud. Finally, they burst with a squishy plop. Yuck, now the air stinks. A spittle bug surrounds itself with bubbles. Hiding in bubbly foam, a young spittlebug is protected from its enemies. A polar bear swims underwater. As it swims, it exhales or breathes out bubbles of air. In a tub or pool, you can blow bubbles too. Just breathe out underwater. Every bubble is a tiny world. Look closely. Who is looking back from the bubble? That's Bubbles Float, Bubbles Pop by Mark Weekland.